Hi guys, welcome back. So let's move forward and keep working on our common line application. Uh, so let's see where we left off our app and see what else we need to do. So we have four options. We only build for now the first three options. So you press one and it converts an image in a PDF file. And of course, this path is no longer available. So we actually just wrote the first function like that. But when we called the first, so when we called the first, um, the first function of our application, we actually did not implement any logic to help uh, the user to compress a bunch of images and turn them in a PDF file using our convert image to PDF function. So what we need to do right now is uh, actually, before calling this function, we should, um, we should ask to the user Path where these images are located. Since we asking, we are asking to use it to convert. We are, we are saying to use the he can convert uh, images. So we suppose that he has more than one image, probably. So what we could do is actually let's see. Uh, so let's first ask to use a path. So input. So let's call it. Uh, AMG path and ask to the user for this input. So so type the location where the images are located. I mean we could say path where the images are located and say for is and for uh, you could do like MNT, CF, in my case, so that's going to be, let's say user, user, and then users, let's do like photo, okay, something like that. And here, let's output. Uh, what we should do now is to, we should grab a list of all the images in a given path. So the path is this one. So we could have a function that says get images, and then the it, it wants one. This function wants one parameter which should be the path, so mg path, something like that. We have no function like that, of course. So we could make one so that we can call it, actually. So let's go up here. We could add a new comment here and say utility functions. And down here, we what we could do actually is um, define this function. So we said it's get images, and it wants a path. And then in here, let's first see all the images that the user have in this given path. So we could do as path uh, list uh, as list there and we pass the path in here like that. Let's print this um, going to be files list and then we print this files list like that 
so the user types one. So before we move forward to the final uh, for future, we should fix this one. So let's do that. And we go up here, the user types one, and we ask, we ask for its input. And then we call this function which should give us a list of all the files in a given part. We, because we are using the US module and, and then list the uh, method, let's see it in action. So we type one and we made a mistake. So let's see where is the mistake. Okay, the user types the input, the option. If he says one, then we ask him to give us a path like that. And then we call this get images path uh, function. Let's try it again. So let's call our application again, press one. Okay, we now see that uh, the app asks to ask to the user for a part. Let's add our own part. That should be the file that we want. Uh, let's see, copyrighted part. Let's see it first before copying it. Okay, that's fine. So we tell to our uh, program that the files are located in this path. So for now we are in this path already. We are in the main project folder, so here. And then we only specify the relative path to the actual folders um, where to the actual folder where all the images are located so we do that and sure enough we got an error because this calling this function as well and we don't need that for now so uh, let's see we see that we have a list of all uh, the files in this folder including our backflip uh, .jpg file but the other files are actually are not actually images so we don't have to convert them so let's say that the images are only files with extension jpg or jpeg and png uh, so what we could do is instead of printing this list of course we could make a new list and say it's empty for now then you take the list of these files and um, what we could do is that for file in this list of files we want to grab the file name and the extension name by using the usual OS path split text this time because we will have this so this is our um, actual file so we want to grab the file name and the extension separately so we say split text for the file and then now we have the file name here and the extension name here and then we could check if e is equal to jpeg jpg or e is equal to let's use the extend from extended approach so we see everything we type jpeg and then or e is equal to png okay and then in this case and only this case we have emg emg list and we can use the append method and say we want 
this file in our list and then we need to return actually this variable so return this variable so when we call this function we only check for this kind of files uh, with the extension .jpg and then we grab only them there is a, a problem anyway because if there is a space in the file name we should obviously uh, do something I mean we should definitely do something and we will see to talk about this problem later on so now well, let's clear the screen not clear clear oh god clear okay so now um, okay we got this function and let's scroll down here so get images now should return only the list of images so let's see images let's assign the return value from this function uh, to the images uh, variable and then we print it uh, images and then we can exit exit like that and let's call our app again and let's press one let's tell uh, the app where are our files sample minus files so that's where we have all our images okay so we got the right file and not the other so if we copy this one and then, and then we try we should trigger the problem that I was talking about a second ago and let's say sample files and okay we have this file name and the other file name let's see what happens I mean we should look for spaces and replace them with an underscore probably uh, let's see what happens if we process this uh, using the convert image to PDF uh, which is this function here so we split the name of the so we grab the image path okay and then we split its text again because we replaced the extension we'll see in a second so now let's see what we could do uh, to make sure that everything works so we have a list of images and we should loop over them so for mmg in images and then now what you do is calling our convert image to pdf function and then yeah you see we have a path here uh, that's the path where that the user gave to us so we should grab it uh, again so the image is located at this, curve, this path and has a given name uh, but if we are, have this slash here before exit the program let's print the mg path and see what we got so press no sorry press one okay and then it's sample image sample files sample okay so if we add the forward slash at the end of course we have it but if we don't we should also tackle this problem I mean in case the user forgot to add for the final slash like that 
our path will not be uh, complete so we should check if there is a forward slash at the end hmm. uh, okay we see that later let's make it work first for now and then we will tackle this as well so we have a couple of uh, things to fix in our program and we will do it when we write some tests okay now we have we don't need to put this because we uh, hope the user adds this uh, slash when it types the path uh, but we could add some checks to verify that okay let's see what we got so we take say one and we say sample sample file sample files uh, we had the forward slash and yeah we forgot to delete this okay let's copy that so we don't have to type it again and it's one and we specify the path where our our files are located and of course we forgot to add the format method here and say emg path and emg so now we should get exactly what we hope it's one sample files and let's see it seems it worked we have no um, success message when our function runs correctly but it seems that we have okay this file and let's see it in explorer So it was backzip underscore copy and let's see it. Okay, so it works. So now we can use the option number one to convert a all the files uh, or all, all the images in a given path. So we should of course specify a path. A relative path or an absolute path uh, when we will finish up and that that works correctly let's see if we need to do something so we have converted successfully this image in PDF file so we could output a message for our user and say print I have I have converted conversion complete probably better file X converted in file Y format and then we say here uh, that we have two variables so this is my so the image was this one and the convert file actually what does it returns exactly let's see uh, it returns the file name so we can save it in a variable Yeah. And then say that's going to be the final name for our file, but we converted this EMG. 
So we convert the CMG. So convert your complete file and then we should see an image here. And so the name of an image. And then uh, when we finish up, we got the name of the converted file. Let's see it. So here, screen, run our app, press one, and then we say sample files. And of course, we got both messages. So it converted the first file, backflip uh, space copy.jpg into sample files, backflip. Okay, and that is exactly what. I was hoping um, it did so let's add at the end the line so that we see some space between this output and this one not every time but one before and one after so before you actually call this so after this let's print uh, some hashtags I'm just doing that manually but what we could do is to write a variable line variable probably to make this better but for now I'm happy with that so let's run this up again press 1 and say sample files and see what we got okay fine so we can clearly see that it, it runs our app um, our function it converted to files and then we start again from the beginning where it asks to have uh, uh, what option we want to select okay I will say that's it for this video and in the next video we will actually start working on uh, the final uh, function so compress all PDF files and also uh, write some tests uh, okay if you like the video uh, leave a like and if you have any question uh, feel free to comment on that video and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys!